this here. So I'm going to play a song. And I'm going to pause the video, play the song, and come back with the review because I'm not going to get copyright violations. But so far, what I just listened to a little bit, fucking fire. Okay, here we go. So the intro, I'm definitely feeling it. It had this, the, like the style and the sound of a horror movie intro or narrator, right? Like Stephen Price shit. And it was like, it's like I like the attitude of it. It's like, it's like, fuck, you only got one life. Fucking live it, man. You know, do something. You only, get, you only have so much time. Don't waste it. Do something. Have pride. Do your best. Try to kick ass. So, so far, fucking awesome. Fucking awesome. So Red Fred, I like the introduction to the character of Red Fred. They say, fucking Red Fred sounds wicked. He sounds fucking, you know, he's not taking shit. He's, you know, the description, the beat. Good, good intro to the character Red Fred. Now we're gonna go to that. So, so far, intro, good. Now, Fury, I'm not gonna review because that's been out for a while. Fury was my favorite of the pre-releases. Like, between Fury and WTF, I liked Fury the better. Both good songs, but Fury is better. WTF is something I might listen to a couple times. It won't be like on repeat or anything. So now we're gonna go to the next song. Like, the Electric Avenue. But that gave me um, the feel of the old school. Starting off with the Lap Dance by a Fat Chick. Surprise, the fro's like the big as the Jack and Five, <laughs> you know? So it had that old school humor, and it was talking about fucking shooting on the streets, so definitely old school feel. Um, so that one uh, is good. So Satellite, as expected, because the satellite is in space looking down at the Earth, and the Earth is round. <laughs> Motherfucker, hell. But um, yeah, it's a song about the big picture. I uh, like the, uh, the feel of it. Um, when I was growing up, my grandparents always taught me, hey, if you go to bed and you ain't hungry, you ain't sick, you got a place to sleep, you had a fucking awesome day. Because that's all you need, something to eat in your belly, something to drink, a place to sleep. Everything else in life is a bonus. One, it's a good message. I don't think it's a banger. So, I mean, I probably won't play that song again and again. But it definitely is a good message. So, if I prefer it down, that's a song I'll play to cheer up. But... Not a banger, not one to pump down the street. Whoa, so seriously, hilarious. My wig got flipped. That is a fucking good song, and I am, you know, that is definitely a diss to Twist It, which I'm on the side of, fuck Eminem, you're my enemy, fuck Twist It, they're a bunch of fucking bitch boys. But yeah, there's no denying that it is directed to them. They said no more disses, but hey, that's not a diss, that's truth. But I liked how Jump Steady was on there um, in some parts and how they were like, you know, since Inner City Posse, they were all on their own. It's like they fucking rode alone then, they're riding alone, alone now. They don't need anybody. But that part were about riding the Juggalo Escalator up to success. And then leaving, it's fucking twisted. And missing your shot to show support, that's them not going to the march. And talking about fake friends, like they were down over a dozen years and, and ICP and J, they thought they were friends, but they were fucking fake friends because they fucking dropped them. It was all business. They, they wanted to do the fucking gatherings right after they left. It's fucking old news, but yeah, man, I felt that. Game over, I can relate to. I'm a video gamer. I have a life outside of it. This it's like, I got my game set up. You know, I got my PS4, external hard drive. I geek out, get geeked, get, get geeked. You know, I got the PlayStation Move going on. And I got the fucking gamer chair. Fuck yeah, I do. So yeah, um... The uh, game over is is it's a fun what I call a story song. Again, it's not a banger. It's not something I'm gonna go down the street and pump, but it's definitely a good fun fucking story song. So that's what I think is classic ICP album. You gotta have some jokes. You gotta have some story songs. You gotta have some morality, right and wrong, just fucking piss and anger songs. So so far again, Fred Fury. So far, I'm digging it. Red Fred, Red Fred, Red Rock, Red Rock. Oh, do you want to see something fucking freaky? ICP made several night stories. Night of Red Rum is the latest edition, but check it out. If you search all the names that have the name Night in them from ICP, you got 
Knight of the Red Rum, Knight of the Axe, Knight of the Chainsaw, Knight of the Living Base Heads, Knight of the 44. Here's where it gets fucking cray cray. Check this out. I made a play playlist of all the fucking knights. Look at this shit. Five songs, exactly 17 minutes long. 17. Okay. All the songs have been pretty good so far, all right? But I have found my first banger, Night of Red Rum. That's the fucking one I'm gonna bang in my car. It's gonna pump, I'm gonna blast it. I'm gonna play that song again and again. That is a fucking good song. That's fucking the shit. So my review for Low, ironically, that's the song that's the lowest on my list so far. I'm not feeling it. I'm not, I'm not feeling the low song. Maybe, and, and this has happened, different moods, different ages. I mean, maybe I'll come back around to it, but in my mood now, February 15, 2019, I'm, I'm not feeling the low song. I, I can see me, if I did something bad and depressed, maybe I'll play it, but low, no go. Yo, this album deserves props, as they all do, but I had a face painted up, man. I just heard triplex. Triplex is a fucking psycho crazy sh awesome fucking song. The story of three murderers and their doctor. That's the shit I fucking pump. Because I can relate to the voices in my head and the things I did and what to do. That fucking song is fire. So that's going to be on the bang it list. So, so far we got Night of Red Rum and Triplex as definite on the repeat. And I will continue. So the Nobody's Fault But Mine, it's an interesting story. And you get the messages, like the butterfly effects. It's like, nobody's fault but mine. Nobody's fault but mine. So it's like, every choice you make, you're going to get what you get. But it's also never give up. That's a little story, not in the banger column, but it was interesting. We'll go to the next song now. All right. Hothead is fucking weird, but for some reason, I like it. So yo, Shimmer was an interesting story song. And it's like, you can look on my YouTube channel. Before this album was released, I told a story from when I was a child where I had sleep paralysis and there's some creature in my closet. Wasn't Shimmer a witch, but it was a little boy type creature. So look on the history of my YouTube channel. For real, man, I felt that song. I was fucking pretty tight. So Freedom is a fucking tight song. It's one of those fucking positive songs. It's basically, hey, do whatever the fuck you want, man. You got choice. You have freedom of choice, man. You might not always win, but you can try. You have fun trying. It's like I live in the cheapest part of the city, but I got enough bills to live and do whatever I want. It's like, I, I, I get generic food, but I'm fucking playing video games. I got a fucking iPhone shit. It's like, just you do you, man. Whatever you want to do, do it. Don't bitch about it, try to do something. So that was a good song, Freedom's a good song. Um, it, it's possible. Okay, what do we say about Like It Rough? So, definitely the longest, darkest song they've done. So definitely Wicked. I mean, it takes it upon yourself what you get out. I mean, some people might say, you know, this is like a fantasy about somebody like and rough. The message I got out of it is it's kind of like a, a warning to a runaway. Because he keeps on saying, run away, run away. So to me, this is kind of like a warning. Hey, young teenage girl, if you're going to run away from home, you're going to meet somebody like this motherfucker. And you're going to get fucking tortured and, and you know, you know, your ass kicked. So I don't know. It could be on the one hand, some people might be like 50 shades of gray. Maybe it's a fun thing. I personally take it from, it's a warning to the runaways. Anyway, my verdict is definitely, this is a solid ICP album. Fucking Fred Fury, Red Fred feels Red Fury. I'm going to be pumping it every day for weeks and weeks and months to come. And then I'll develop some new, uh, you know, I'll probably find some favorite songs, but for me, definitely Night of Red Rum. And the others I said previously, so solid album. Fucking whoop, whoop. Fucking Juggernauti, everybody. Fuck yeah. If you don't got it yet, get it. And I pre-ordered it. 
I didn't get my delivery today. I didn't get my T-shirt. I didn't get my CD. But I mean, I ain't a little bitch. Yeah, my pre-order today. I don't get my pre-order. I got fucking, I got fucking Apple Music. So I heard it. You know, I'm not gonna be like a little bitch boy. Oh, I don't get my pre-order today. Wow, fuck you, man. These people are starving. There were people getting raped and killed. So don't bitch about your pre-order being late. My pre-order's late too. I'll get it eventually. All right. Gathering twenty. I'll be there. All right. Yes. Okay, comment below. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, watch my other videos. I got a crazy mind, so you never know what I'm going to talk about or do. All right. Peace.